Well, students at a high school in Allentown, Pennsylvania, say they're being blocked by administrators from starting a group to protest abortion, which they oppose. Parkland High School already has a gay straight alliance, a political science club, a chess club, a bunch of other student organizations you could call political. But when about 20 kids sought to found a chapter of Students for Life, they were denied and told it would be too controversial. Liz Castro is a student at Parkland High. Kristen Hawkins is the national president of Student for Life, and they join us tonight. Thanks a lot uh, for coming on. Thanks for having us. So, uh, Liz, you brought this to the administrators at your school, and what did they say to you? They told me that we couldn't have our club because it was too controversial and too political at the time. So just anything that other people disagree with is not allowed? Do you think they singled you out for that? I think they were definitely discriminating against us because we were um, pro-life. Kristen, that, that kind of club, an anti-abortion club, is singularly offensive to the kind of people who run schools, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you would think that public institutions, free speech would be a no-brainer. These are taxpayer-funded institutions. And yet, this is what we see time and time again on high schools and colleges across the country. So do you, um, do you suppose, Liz, that if there was a club, I don't know, a, a feminism club, a women's rights club, women empowerment club that supported legal abortion, that they'd be allowed to organize on campus? I feel like they may be able, they may have allowed them to have their club. So what are you going to do? Uh, have you given up? No, not at all. <laughs> are you going to try again, do you think? Um, try again in what sense? Try, try to start the club again this coming year. Um, I'm a senior, so uh, this is kind of it for me, but my friend Grace, who is also trying to start the club with me, is definitely not giving up, and she's going to try again. Well, good, and I hope they're, they're all watching tonight. Kristen, you, have you seen this before? Yes, we have. We see this in dozens of high schools and college campuses across the country. Right now, we have a lawsuit, uh, Colorado State, Fresno State, uh, Colorado, um, Colorado, we just had a victory for a free speech case. We have another lawsuit, California State, San Marcos. Um, this happens across the country where a few administrators who do not like uh, pro-life speech feel that they have the right to censor it. And that, that's an example that they're setting for all the students at their school, that it's okay to silence pro-life speech or to vandalize pro-life displays on campus or bully pro-life students. And that's just wrong. So is that the standard legally, that if you're a school administrator and you don't agree with an opinion, you can prevent the student from expressing it? Absolutely not. That is not the standard. That's not legal. This, you know, we have First Amendment rights in our nation. Liz and Grace at Parkland have the First Amendment right to start their Students for Life group. And because the school has other non-curricular clubs, like the Gay Straight Alliance, like the Fashion Club, they should be allowed to have their Students for Life club. Boy. Uh, Liz, in the seconds we've got left, have you learned any lessons from this? I definitely learned with... Um Hard work and persistence, you can definitely achieve anything. <laughs> well, good. Well, we hope, you, we hope you and your classmates achieve this. Thanks a lot for joining us, both of you tonight. Thank you.